the farmers who have protected the flora and fauna and the wildlife. You think they were all dirty people that were plundering the land and destroying it. This is all uh, whipped up by uh, the Greens, I said. Here we're taking it as, as, as gospel. And the government here and the mainstream media will not entertain it. We're being described as buffoons. No consultation. Absolutely none with the farmers affected. Farmers and their wives and families have toiled hard to drain land and make good productive land to produce uh, good productive crops and indeed safe and clean uh, beef, um, sheep and indeed pigs and everything else. But this is a devastating blow. They, like they're going to flood all the forest, all the uh, bog land, first of all. Most bogs aren't flat, so if you flood them, it runs down into farmland. No consultation. We saw yesterday during our debate, word filtered through, that the EPP, which is the party, the Fine Gael are trying to in Europe, pulled out of the negotiations in Europe. The chickens have come home to roost here, and this is not an eject, a re- reject reaction by this government to do this at the behest of Eamon Ryan and his green cronies who care little about our food security, who care little about our people, only get their uh, devastating uh, green policies uh, passed here. And this is going to lead to food shortages, nothing else. We see the price of the groceries already, and if we force more people out of production, people were told by this government, by Fine Gael Ministers for Agriculture, to increase the cow health and increase uh, production. And then, th- now the rug is being pulled from under their feet. This is tormenting uh, fam- families, and this is also leading to a very dangerous situation of, uh, you know, of, of food shortages. We go back, to, we blame the British for the food shortages during the famine. Now our own government are doing this at the behest of Europe and behest of, 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 of the UN, UN groups that are literally uh, hijacking the science here. We have scientists who prove that there's no scientific evidence that that, that, that um, we reckon will, will do anything for the ozone layer and for the, for the emissions. Uh, very, very miscal. But they won't be heard at all. Other than with yourself, they won't be allowed. And they're, they're, they're getting hate mail, they're being cancelled culture, and they're being uh, silenced. And these are eminent peer-reviewed scientists who worked with NASA and different places over decades. But they're just cast aside. We met some of them during the week in the door and it's refreshing to hear the science but nobody wants to hear that. It's all one way traffic with fake science, fake reports just to get what they want. What it really is, is the underdeveloped countries want to take from the so-called developed countries here and I've no problem with giving to the poor or balancing up there but they want to destroy our way of life, they want to destroy our food security and I say this is a step too far and the people have risen up so the government are in a quandary here. The minister then uh, chose the tactics, just the minister Hackett, of, of naming people and call, telling them they were organic farmers and elsewhere when they weren't. So look, this is a phony debate by a phony government, but above all we must protect the farm families and our food production. What do you think of the argument made by, I believe it was Finnegal TD, who said that although agriculture produces a large amount of emissions, it only accounts for a very small percentage of our actual GDP. Do, do you have any thoughts on that? We haven't done the science. The science is not settled. It's not even done. Our examiner, not to mind, says settled on this. So it's just a, a, another, you know, to hell or to Connacht with these. And unfortunately, most of the land that they will rebate is in Connacht in the West. But nonetheless, it's the same attitude. Force people off the land. Let the land and grow. I have pictures here taken of my own sheep farming the hills and the mountainside on Monday night uh, with plenty of flora and fauna, plenty of uh, uh, scrub and bushes and, and, and bog land there adjacent. And people, the farmers who have protected the flora and fauna and the wildlife, you think they were all dirty uh, people that were plundering the land and destroying it. This is all uh, uh, whipped up by uh, the Greens, I said, by the United Nations, you know, with, with the fake majorities that they have in these committees. And then we're here, we're taking it as as, as gospel, and the government here and the mainstream media will not entertain it. We're being described as buffoons when we stand up, and we have science to back what we're saying from our scientists that are being silenced. Somebody's worked in Chagas, somebody's worked in the drainage projects to drain this land, and now they're being forced, people are to think that they re it again and flood it. And when I have a look at my compensation, that the dirty world, we don't want compensation. We want this to be done properly. We want, forget this mad idea of wetting, re-wetting the land because there's no scientific basis for it. So, and allow us to continue our food production.